morning, you guys, and welcome to M Kids. It's wonderful to see you here. And this is the first Sunday of Lent. Do you know what Lent is? Lent is the 40 days before Easter weekend. And Easter weekend is the weekend that Jesus died on the cross and he rose again from the dead. So enjoy today and enjoy this Lent journey with us at MKITS. Let's quickly unshuffle the following letters to discover two of our characters today. These are two pretty big words in the Bible that we don't use in everyday conversations. Do you know what a Pharisee and a tax collector are? A Pharisee was a Jewish man in biblical times who followed the laws, that's the rules, of the Old Testament very carefully. Here's an example. If the rule said you may not touch this or you may not do this, then they wouldn't do it. Even They wouldn't even think about whether it made sense or whether it was the right thing at that moment. They often believed they were more holy than other people because they were doing everything perfectly right. A tax collector was someone who raised money for the ruler or the king of the time. Tax collectors were seen as people who worked dishonestly with money and demanded more from the people than they should have. So if the tax collector had come to you for money and you only had to give him five rand, he lied and said you had to give him 10 rand then he kept the fire brand for himself. Hmm, sounds like we might not have liked this guy very much, right? Now that you know exactly who our characters are today, let's listen to today's scripture. It's really quite a special scripture. Jesus told a story to teach people how he really wants our hearts to be. The story goes like this. Two men went up to the temple that was the church of the biblical times to pray. One a Pharisee, the other a tax man. The Pharisee posed and prayed like this. Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like other people. Robbers, crooks, adulterers, or heaven forbid, like this tax man. I fast twice a week and give so much money to the church. Meanwhile, the tax man slumped because he was ashamed his face in his hands, not daring to look up, said, God, give me mercy, forgive me, a sinner. Jesus said, this man, not the other, went home, made right with God. If you walk around thinking you are better than others, you're missing what's really important. But if you realize that you need God, then you will also see that you are valuable in God's eyes as you live and grow with Him. I told you this story from Luke 18, verse 9 to 14. Humility. Have you ever thought about what that means? We know it's never fun when someone is full of himself and thinks he's better than everyone else. But have you ever thought about why it's so important to be humble? That is exactly what Jesus is trying to explain through this story. People who are humble understand how much they need God and live each day knowing that God is helping them. It's a game changer. Now, it's not about how smart, beautiful, good or strong you are, but about how Jesus helps teaches and leads you to make a big difference in the world around you. It's not just me, 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 but Jesus and I. You then see the gift of this friendship you have with Jesus and you enjoy it every day as you approach life with Him through His power. Special, right? The amazing thing is that when you practice being humble, you see how others are special and good because they were also made by God. And the added bonus, people like humble people. It is so worth following Jesus' advice. Practice humility by repeating this version 
of the tax collector's prayer a few times throughout the day. O oh God, have mercy on me. Give me your grace, even if I do not deserve it. I need you. Listen to this prayer calmly a few times while you breathe and think about how Jesus helps you. Experience Him loving you while you pray this prayer. O oh God, have mercy on me. Give me your grace even if I do not deserve it. I need you. O oh God, have mercy on me. Give me your grace even if I do not deserve it. I need you. O oh God, have mercy on me. Give me your grace even if I do not deserve it. I need you. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we really need you. Help us to recognize you in our lives and to take your hand every step of the day. Thank you, Lord, that you love us and that you meet us where we are. Amen. Bye, guys. <laughs>